But I was just in Indy for uh, the Indy 500. We played a little gig up there, and yeah. we walked around. And my wife were both going like, "Wow, this city's got like a this, this city's Nashville's really busy. I mean, it's just really oh, yeah, traffic-y. you can actually drive around. Yeah, it feels like it still has like <laughs> has the cultures up and streets. coming, but still has like streets and like traffic laws are obeyed and <laughs> a you know, traffic laws are yeah, obeyed. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> On my street where I live, they had to put up all these like white cones to keep people from going into the bike lane to pass cars. Oh, yeah. Is right? It's oh, like it's Wild West out here. By the way, we're talking with Dirk Bentley. He just oh hey y'all, how's it going? But we saw a video you this past winter you built some sort of snow fort or something. Igloo. igloo yes yeah. i bet that's fun. so fun i got a great neighborhood i live in but um, not only that but i think was you, that real you, I think your we, fun we dad discussed it on the air whether it was photoshopped or was no the the, the, the igloo yeah it's it was dirks. real so we got great snow this year in nashville um snow stuck around for like you know you probably get more snow than we do but we, yeah. it stuck around for like a week which is a big deal for us yeah. it was that wet snow so you could take those recycling Perfect. take those recycling bins stack them full of snow flip it over <laughs> And make your igloo that way. And so it stayed. it stayed for like a week. Yeah. I'd go I, meet my neighbor in there. We had a little propane fire grill, have some coffee, beers. That was awesome. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Talk about the Dirk Bentley. I would vote you to last a pretty good while on Survivor. We love that show. We just started watching it like four years ago. And we watched it as a family. We, it's a great family it television. Really and yeah. there's no way I'd go on that show. That's, that looks really? looks really hard. I don't know. I, I, I want my wife to go. So we can, okay. my, I, like, I, I like cheering more than I like actually. I've discovered this recently. My wife just did the New York City Marathon. Being a cheer, that's the way to go because you get all the highs of the experience with none of the lows of like yeah. suffering, pain, training. So I'm gonna want, I want her to go on Survivor so I can be like, yeah. yeah well, it would be good. You, yeah. were the best, <laughs> you were the best supporter for her. I will say, as I was watching your it Instagram, was it was fun. Um, you seem very loving. And, uh, it and was just a, fun to cheer for her. And She's, a good partner. So what makes yeah. a good marriage? Um, whiskey. Um, <laughs> for breakfast. Pills. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think a uh, good marriage, uh, it's, you know, it's the, like I remember my, my, when I got married, my dad, someone gave a speech about peaks and valleys. And I was like, what are you talking about valleys? It's all peaks. Yeah. There's a lot of valleys, peaks yeah. and valleys. I think just, you know, it's, it's something you got to work on every day. You yeah. just try to bring your best self to the uh, to the morning every morning, you know. Wonderful. But I've had plenty of flaws, so don't look to me. But 17 years, first yeah. 16 have been the hardest, so we'll see how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it now. Yeah. No problem.